everyone, so sorry if I look kind of, I don't know, not video-ish today. Um, it's actually 9.19 at night, and um, I kind of wanted to film my March favorite since I haven't done a favorites video in a while. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started because it is kind of a lot of products, not severely, like a lot, I guess you would say. Um, but, I, but I'm going to start off with... Um, Face. Okay, so my favorite concealer at the moment, which I'm actually running out of, is the e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer in Fair. Alright, and if you guys notice, I'm actually filming with my camera today. Woot woot. Yeah. Um, my favorite foundation is the Maybelline Pure Makeup in Classic Ivory. Um, I recently switched foundations because I just kind of was running out of my other one and I just kind of wanted to use up some foundations and this one was actually my actual skin tone so it got did a lot of coverage um, and it also matches my skin tone very well. Um, my favorite blush, um, one of my favorite blushes actually, is the TCW blush. It doesn't have a name but it just has a really dark red and then two light pinks. It looks like this. Right, really pretty and a really good color payoff, but it is kind of like if you get it too much on, it is kind of hard to blend out. So um, now for lips, I'm kind of going in a weird order here. Um, is my Mac Hello Kitty um, tinted lip conditioner in Pink Fish. Can't see that, but I just always just like to do that. Got to get in the habit because I'm getting a new camcorder that will focus. More info on that in my next vlog that I do. Um, but this is what it looks like, and it's just a really pretty, nice pink color. Alright, then I have a Color Sensational lipstick that I'm loving, so my favorite lipstick ever, and it is in Pink Please, and actually a lot of beauty gurus have this, and I didn't know about it, and as you can see, I'm kind of running low, like not running low, I still have a lot to go, but there's not... I don't know. It was taller than that. Let's just go with that. <laughs> Alright, so really nice nude pink color. Alright, next my favorite eyeliner is the NYX Blackberry um, eyeliner, which is pretty much my favorite all the time. Then my two favorite brushes are the two e.l.f. Um, brushes, which is the eyeshadow brush, and then there's the eye blending brush, which is up there. It was in the bucket, so I didn't want to look like I didn't want to fish it out. And um, something new that I've been really trying to try out, and like I want to kind of do a review on it, is um, the eye eyelash curler. Why did I just do that? Um, it's really nice. It's from what is this from? It's not from Eco Tools. Essential Tools. It's from Essential Tools. I always, I like always get those mess mixed up. I can't speak today. Um, but it's really nice, and I think I'll do a review on this, so, yeah. Okay, now moving on to eyes, I have five things, and, um, this is my Urban Decay Quad in, um, it's the foreshadow one, sorry. Um, and my favorite color in this one, as of now, is Midnight Cowboy. I actually wore this one today to school. And it's just a really glittery, um, nude kind of color, in a way. Um, I really like it. Like a nude tan. Yeah, like a nude tan champagne. color. It's not champagne, really. I don't know. Alright, then I have my Hard Candy Duo that I really, really love. I've always loved this one. In Rush Hour. Alright, it has a coppery, bronzy color right here. And a dark mocha color right there. Then I have my two Maybelline Stu Maybelline New York Eye Studio quads, and I love these things. Like, I'm so going to buy the whole line of these, because these are absolutely amazing. I love these things. Um, they look kind of funny, but I, it's weird. I actually, um, it's actually kind of like, I really like the design. It's, it's odd, but it's like, amazing. Um. So, here's what it looks like. You guys saw that in my review, and if you haven't seen it, um, I will put a link in the sidebar to that video. 
Right, and this one is in Sapphire Siren. I think it's the signature one of the line. And then another one I saw from a tutorial from Haley Anna Ree or something like that. Um, she's one of my favorite gurus. I can't like pronounce it, and I don't really remember her username, which is kind of sad because I really like her videos. But I saw a tutorial, and I just like I loved it, and I had to have it. And when I use this. Um, quad it's the look that I use all the time so if she's watching this which I hope she is um this you inspired me to buy this quad and I use your look that you use every day so I really like this quad alright then I have um something that I haven't um I wasn't really interested in at first and I just kind of bought it but I really really like this so um if I can get it open Oh, Lordy. Yeah, will you open it for me? <laughs> okay, thank you. I don't want to break it. But it's the um, Maybelline Eye Studio Duo. And it goes with, like, the whole Eye Studio um, line. And it is in Mocha Mirage. I and mean, it just has a really nice um, chocolate brown right there. And it has, like, this odd mixture of mixture of colors right here. It's like a pink, brown, white, gold, and it's really shimmery. But it's so odd, but I really, really love it. And um I just I love it. I don't even know what to say about it. It's just really nice and um what? They're like really soft. Like when you do Yeah, them. when you swatch them or something, they're like really soft. Almost like velvet. Yeah, like velvet. I don't even know how to explain it because they're like really soft weird, but I really like it. Alright, and for the last two of my favorites, which I'm probably forgetting something my favorites, but sorry. Oh, Twilight Woods. Is in here? Yeah. I so. yeah. Um, so, um, I have three pa favorite perfumes. Um, one is Lucky You, and um, this smells very unique. It's definitely not a fruity scent. Well, it could be a fruity scent. It's definitely not a subtle scent. It's very out there and hello, I'm lucky you. <laughs> that kind of sounded weird. But it's very strong and it's very noticeable, but in a light and subtle way, if you kind of know what I mean. It's not like a disgusting kind of smell. It actually smells like really girly and I really, really like this. It's kind of hard to explain. Like, I got it at Walmart for like $7, so if you guys want to go like smell it or something or try it out, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say it's like light and subtle, but it's really like bang. Like, I don't know. It's really hard to explain. Um, then I have another scent in Twilight Woods, but this is from um, Bath and Body Works, and they, um, on the website they describe it as a walk through the woods, and it's, it's a scent. I wouldn't exactly call it a walk through the woods, but it smells really good. I don't know, it's like a really sweet, kind of more subtle sound, but it's kind of strong. I'm so bad at describing scents unless they're like fruity or something. And then my all-time favorite scent, like ever, is Cucumber Melon from Bath & Body Works. And I just, I love the smell. I've known this smell since I was like four, maybe three. And I've loved it ever since, so that's just me. But yeah, I think that's the end of my favorites. I'm sure there's something I've been forgetting, but um, I will include that in my April favorites. And um, I'm going to have a lot of products. Hey, will you answer that? Um, I will have a lot of products, but mute the microphone. I will have a, um, that's fine. I will have a um, lot more products in April and May and all those months to answer. But yeah. I will um, see you guys later, and thank you for watching, and thank you for almost getting me to 600 subscribers. Oh, um, I love you guys, and keep subscribing. Love you guys.